Hello everyone, my name is Ankit Varma. This is a question from data structure. In a binary max heap, so binary here signify that max heap contain maximum two child. So let's construct a max heap. We know that max heap contain the maximum node at the top. So let us suppose that we are having a node, let's say 70. So this 70 is the top node. As it is a binary max heap, that means it can contain two child. So first of all, we are taking the left child. Let us suppose that here we are having the next two largest element. So largest on the top, then afterward, next two largest, let's say 60. So 60 is on the left hand side. Now is a turn for the right hand side. Next largest, let's suppose that we are having 50. So here 60 and 50 are the two more largest element. So first level largest, second level then further largest. Now in the binary max heap further each node can contain two child. Let's say in 60 left hand side we have some element let's say 40. So 40 on the left hand side then let's say 30. So 30 again on the right hand side. So this node is filled then afterward is a turn of 50. So 50 let's say here we are having is 20. So 20 on the left let's say 10 that is on the right. So here we can see that all the nodes have maximum two child. So here we can see that in a max heap all of the numbers we have the largest number which is 70 that is on the top on the first level then afterward second to largest element we can see that out of remaining 50 and 60 are on second level then on the last level we are having the remaining elements so this is called the max heap so here we have the max heap and we can see that all the nodes let's say 70 have two child 60 have two child 50 have two child means they can have maximum two child that's why it is binary so binary max heap we have constructed hypothetically for understanding now we are going back to the question so binary max heap contain n numbers we can see that here one two three four five six and seven so here we have seven that means the value of n is seven so we have n numbers means seven numbers the smallest element can be found in so here we want to check that if i want to find smallest we know that here 10 is the smallest element so how we can find the 10 in what complexity so there are various complexities given the first one is big of n then big of log 2n big of 1 big of log 2 log 2n whenever a max heap is given and you want to find the largest element we know that largest element is always on the top so here 70 is the largest means only in one comparison we can find the largest element so here the answer will be big o of 1 1 is the constant but here it is asking the smallest element. We may think that for the smallest element there are only three comparison required. Means we start from the root then afterward go to 70 then 50 and then 10. We know that out of this tree 10 is the smallest element. And to find this 10 we have only 1, 2 and 3. Three comparisons. But this is the best case and always we find the complexity into the worst case. As we are working with the algorithm, so algorithm don't know that we should go to 70, 50 and 10. Algorithm may go to the another direction, let's say it first go to 70, then afterward it is going to the 60, then again comparing with the next that is 40. Here further no node is available, so it is going to backtrack and go to the next node, 30. Further no expansion, again backtrack and go to the 50, then 20, no further expansion, then again go backtrack and go to the 10. 
you can see that how many comparisons are there. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. So, in the worst case, we have 7 comparison. And see how many numbers are there. Numbers are 7. That means for n numbers, we need n comparison in the worst case. So, for the worst case, to find the smallest element, we need big O of n comparison. So, here we only have the option number A and all other options are not matching. That means if you want to find the smallest number in a max heap, then here we have big O of n. Or if you want to find the largest number, it is always on the top. So, there will be big O of 1. So, for this question, we have the correct answer that is big O of n for the smallest number in max heap. So that's all for today. Thank you.